Okay, here's the battery box cover. That's the electric connection for the, uh, the fan power. And we don't need the fans anymore, so let's take them off. Okay, so don't need this anymore with the lithium batteries. Saves a few pounds, frees up a little space, and now we got the uh, plain battery cover. Can uh, put this back on the Vectrix now, I think. Now, got to get past the red stuff. Yeah. And a little more. Nope, oh, that's angled. Okay. Nice and hollow. And then the impact wrench and where did I put the screws right here. Always good to have labeled battery cover bolts. Battery box cover bolts. There we go. Okay, now let's see how this all works up here. And then the other thing is this red piece has to go over. You put over here? That. Uh, yes, now I am. Center black tube to red sides. right yeah. I like the way it goes on it's just a hook mm -hmm. two screws real simple Looks like a scooter. It is Saturday afternoon at four o'clock and the Vectrix is officially put together and powered by the Nissan Leaf battery pack. It is titled licensed and insured. It is far from done. I don't have all the wires for the BMS done up yet. I'm still trying to figure exactly how I want to do that, but I'm thinking uh, basically a, a balance charger. But 
it's all hooked up. So if we turn it on, not sure how well you're gonna be able to see the display, but turn it on, see if we can get in here. Says 90 mile range. Woohoo! Nissan Leaf powered Vectrex electric motorcycle. Hey, do you hear that? Do you know what that is the sound of? It is a Vectrex charging at about 1500 watts, but without the cooling fan. So here's the cooling fan. That's that normally, that loud, loud thing. All we hear is the little cooling fan up in the charger up here. The fan has been removed from under the seat and it's charging up Nissan Leaf lithium cell modules.